Let's have a quick conversation about Palette Master Element Calibration Report and the acceptable tolerance for the achieved calibration value. I'm Art and Art is Right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. To give us a quick background, once we're done with the calibration process and have saved out the ICC or ICM profile, your calibration software are generally going to give you a calibration report. Most of the time, these reports will contain the luminance that you have set, what's able to achieve, and also the color temperature that you've set and what is able to achieve. Sometimes the programs such as X-Rite i1 Profiler will also show you the contrast ratio for the calibration as well. This is by no means a Delta E report. It doesn't really tell you how accurate your profile is, but it gives you some basic metrics regarding luminance and color temperature. Let's take a look at this Palette Master Element calibration on this SW270C along with my 16-inch MacBook Pro. The target luminance I have set was 80 candela and I was able to achieve a luminance of 78.6288. So my luminance is about 1.4 nits or 1.4 candela off. Is this value considered acceptable? Absolutely. My general rule of thumb for the achieve luminance value is that as long as it is within plus or minus 5 of your target luminance value, you should be okay. If it's 10 below or under, I might consider redoing a calibration. If it's more than 10, then obviously there is something going on that's causing that value not to read out properly. The thing is that if we're only a few nits off, it's going to be perfectly okay. Our eyes can't really discern those small nits differences anyway. That's number one. And secondly, every time we do a display calibration, we're taking a sample of a moment in time. So for it to be exactly precise all the time, that's just something that's simply not going to happen. And that's the reason why we calibrate, to get closer to that precision. But as we get closer, if we start to zoom into it, those values keep getting smaller and smaller, and they're still never going to reach that precise value. It's kind of like limits in mathematics. So now let's move on to the target color temperature. I have my target color temperature set to 6500 Kelvin. In fact, the target for this is 6505 Kelvin and the achieved value was 6530. If your Kelvin temperature is off by anything less than 100, I wouldn't even worry about it at all. And truth be told, if the Kelvin temperature achieved on this display was either 64 or 66 or something like that, I probably would not lose sleep over the Kelvin temperature there because those are just really minor differences. When we talk about the tolerances for Kelvin temperature, 100 Kelvin difference, we may not really see the difference with our eyes that much at all compared to what is supposed to look at the correct value itself. So in general, if you're off by about 100 Kelvin, you're going to be okay, or maybe 150 or so. Now, for instance, if I set this to 6500 Kelvin and I was able to achieve 6100, I might go in and do a recalibration and see what's really going on there. What I'm going to do here is a quick profile validation and we'll quickly touch on the report that we're gonna get from there and Delta E. If you'd like to learn more about Delta E, I made a separate video talking about that. I'll put a link to it up here and also in the description below as well. A few things before we talk about the validation report. If you'd like to learn more about Delta E and how to read this chart, I'll put a link to my Delta E video up here and also in the description below so you can check that out. Secondly, for my setup, I am using a 16-inch MacBook Pro running on Catalina 10.15.7. The device I'm using to calibrate the display is the X-Rite i1 Display Pro Plus. This is the SW270C from BenQ, and Palette Master Element that I'm running is version 1.3.13. With regards to Palette Master Element setting in general, I am using D65 Pano Native, and for the Gamma, I'm using 2.2. For the black point, I'm using a relative value of 0 0.3 nits. So let's take a look at the calibration or let's take a look at the validation report right now. This is pretty much telling me the model of my display is serial number, the profile that I have. The target color temperature that I have set is D65. It tells me the achieved temperature, very similar to the calibration report itself. However, it doesn't give me a luminance value. But what this does give me is a black point readout. So I set the black point for this calibration to 0 0.3 nits. I'm able to achieve 0 0.23 nits. Again, every time it's doing a black point adjustment, very similar to the, what it's doing with regards to the display luminance adjustment, it's talking with the LUT and trying to adjust that as best as possible. Most of the time when you dial in a relative nits value for a black point, you're never going to achieve that value exactly however it's going to come close. 
And that's something to remember when we go through these calibration processes that our black point are not necessarily going to land exactly where we want it to be every single time. For example, setting this at 0.3 and I was able to achieve 0.23, is this okay? Absolutely. Is it right directly at 0.3? No, but this is going to work as well. Anyhow, I hope that you find this video on the acceptable range for these achieved value helpful. If you have any questions about this, leave them in the comment section below. Give this video a like, subscribe if you're new, hit that bell to be notified every time we'll look cool new contents like this. And until next time, in Art Retrust.